The Congregation of Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary Latin, Congregatio Clericorum Marianorum ab Immaculata Conceptionis Bdicime Virginis Mariae, abbreviation, MIC is a Roman Catholic male clerical religious congregation founded, 1670, in Poland. It is also known as Marians of the Immaculate Conception. The congregation of about 500 priests and brothers has convents in 19 countries on six continents. Marians pledge support to the Pope and follow the official teachings of the Catholic Church and aim to spread devotion to Blessed Virgin Mary as the Immaculate Conception, pray for the souls in purgatory and undertake a variety of apostolic work. Marians were the first Catholic men's religious institute dedicated to the honor of Mary's Immaculate Conception. The community traces its roots to St. Stanislaus of Jesus and Mary Papczynski who was beatified in Basilica of Our Lady of Lycan, Lycan Steri, Poland, in 2007. As an institute of consecrated life their motto is Pro Christo et Ecclesia. Marians are also the official promoters of the authentic Divine Mercy message since 1941. History Topic. The congregation began on December 11, 1670, with St. Stanislaus Papczynski publicly announcing in his Oblatio the desire to establish a community of men dedicated to spreading the honor of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In 1673, in Pucha Karabievska near Skirnovici, Poland, the first religious house of the Marians was approved by the local bishop. The first members of the community based their life on the rule of life, written by St. Stanislaus. He tempered his plans at first to establish a community active in the Church's service. At the beginning, the Marian Fathers lived an eremitical rule of life as they pursued final recognition and approval by the Church. Within a short time, the new and still small institute received approval from their local ordinary, Bishop Stephen Wierzbowski of Poznan. Pope Innocent XII granted his approval for the Young Institute in 1699 with solemn vows under the French rule of the Ten Virtues of the Blessed Virgin Mary, initially placing them within the Franciscans. With the death of the founder in 1701, however, the Marian Fathers found themselves in a critical period of transition. Internal factions divided the membership into one group favoring a strictly contemplative life, and a second group seeking to add missionary and pastoral outreach to the Institute's contemplative spirit. The period known as the Rostkowski Dispersion followed, fired by internal conflict, as well as the negative attitude expressed by some bishops and lay dignitaries. In 1716, Bishop Adam Rostkowski decided to close the Marian novitiate, instructing Marians to leave the monastery and move out to assume pastoral work in parishes. In 1722, Bishop John Tarlow of Poznan called the scattered Marians back to their monasteries, and convened a general chapter. The man elected to serve as superior general was Fr. Andrew of St. Matthew Desipot, a Czech originally received into the institute by the founder St. Stanislaus, at the same chapter, a general procurator was chosen, Fr. Joachim of St. Ann Kozlowski. He was given the mission of going to Rome to have the institute's constitutions confirmed, and to remove the institute from the jurisdiction of local bishops. In 1723, Pope Innocent XIII approved the Marian statutes and released the institute from the interference of local bishops. The rest of 18th century was marked by steady growth as the Marians expanded from Poland to Portugal and Italy thanks to the efforts of two outstanding superior generals of the Institute, Venerable Serve, of God Casimir Wyszynski and Raymond Nowicki Rapid changes in the European political situation by the end of the 18th and through 19th century led to the near destruction of the Institute. With the complete failure of the Kosciuszko uprising in 1795, Poland lost its independence. Now the Marian Fathers found themselves divided by virtually sealed borders. The partitioning of the Polish Republic was decreed by the occupying armies of Russia, Prussia, and Austria. Again, in 1798, after Napoleon seized Rome, he mandated that all foreigners be expelled from its borders. The exodus included the Marian Fathers removed from their monastery and Rome's St. Vitus Church. 
In 1834, the Portuguese government became hostile toward all religious, and finally closed all Marian monasteries in that nation. In Eastern Europe following the Vienna Congress of 1815, most of the Marian monasteries found themselves in the newly created Kingdom of Poland, which was part of Imperial Russia, whose Tsarist regime was openly hostile to the Catholic Church. The defeat of two Polish national uprisings against Tsarist Russia, one in November 1830, and another in January 1863, meant repression for religious institutes in Poland. The Tsarist regime prohibited the acceptance of new candidates to the religious life, effectively stamping out the normal process of growth in vocations to the religious life for the Marian Fathers and other institutes. One of the most famous Marians in the 19th century was Fr. Christopher S. Z. Wernicke. In 1852, he was exiled to Irkutsk, where he built the church and an orphanage for the deportees' children. In 1888 he was titled, Apostle of Siberia, by Pope Leo XIII. By 1865, the Russian occupying forces allowed only one Marian monastery to remain open in Marahampol, Lithuania. All Marians were sent to Marahampol. Such rulings were nothing less than a death sentence for the religious institute. By the year 1904, that last Marian house closed, since so few Marians remained. By 1908, only one Marian remained, Vincent Sikowski He was the last superior general. All other Marians had died, or asked to leave to join the ranks of the diocesan clergy. For all appearances, the Tsarist persecutions had succeeded. The Marian fathers seemed to have come to the end of the line. At this critical moment in the history of the Marian Institute, an ardent and energetic Lithuanian priest came to visit Fr. Vincent Sikowski, with the aim of secretly renewing it. He was Fr. George Machiladis Matilvich, and at that time he was a professor at the Academy of Theology in St. Petersburg, Russia. Father Machiladis had a profound understanding of the contributions and significance of religious life to society, although Catholic monasteries were being suppressed at that time. He believed it was important to do whatever needed to be done to revive Catholic religious life in the lands dominated by Imperial Russia. As a youth, he had been brought up in a village where the Marian fathers staffed the local parish. The experience had left him with a lifelong respect and admiration for the Marian fathers. And so Fr. George, along with his friend Fr. Francis Peter Buses, who had also grown up with Marian religious influence, entered the Marian Institute with the intention of saving it from disappearing into history, along with all its promise for God's work. They had to become Marians in secret in order to thwart imperial Russian authorities, who continued to persecute the Church. Fr. George made his vows and was accepted into the Marian Institute by Fr. Vincent Sikowski, and in the same year, 1909, Fr. Francis Peter Buses became the first novice of the Institute on its way to renewed life. Fr. George wrote the Renewed Institute's constitutions, inspired by the spirit of St. Stanislaus Papchinsky and the desire to adapt his ideals to modern times. The new constitutions and revived form of Marian life were approved by St. Pope Pius X in 1910. Father Vincent Sikowski, who was the last of the White Marians, lived on for five months after papal approval for Marian renewal. To assure that the institute could continue to flourish without interference from the imperial government, the secret Marian novitiate and house of studies were transferred from St. Petersburg in Russia to Freiburg in Switzerland. From this time on, the Marian fathers began to experience consistent growth. In 1927, the year when the renovator, then Archbishop George Machiladis Matilvich, died, the congregation had grown to around 300 members among them Blessed George Kalusha, Servant of God Eugene Kulesha, and Servant of God Janus Mendrix. Fr. Francis P. Busey succeeded Blessed George as the Superior General of the renovated congregation, thanks to the renovator's reforms, the Marian Fathers became a modern religious congregation. Yet Blessed George Machiladis did not change the main ideals of the religious community, such as spreading devotion to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and supplication for the souls suffering in purgatory. However, he did expand the field of the Marian apostolate and introduced significant changes into the Marian Fathers' way of life, adapting it to the new conditions and needs of modern times. 20th century Topic. 
Although it is now an international organization, the Marians still have strong roots in Poland, e.g. the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lycan and place a great deal of emphasis on spreading the messages of Divine Mercy of St. Faustina Kowalska. Between 1950 and 1986 the Marian Fathers operated two boarding schools in England, at Lower Bullingham near Hereford and the second, Divine Mercy College, at Folly Court, Buckinghamshire, north of Henley-on-Thames. Though intended for boys of Polish origin, in particular the children of the 100,000-plus Poles who found exile in Britain after the Second World War, a proportion of the boys accepted were non-Poles. In 1996 Fr. Serafim Michelenko, Mike, and Fr. George Kosicki, CSB formed the John Paul II Institute of Divine Mercy to provide instruction in Divine Mercy theology and spirituality to both parish leaders and clergy. At its inception, Pope John Paul II entrusted the Institute with the task of providing "...formation and research in the Divine Mercy message." Their role in spreading the Divine Mercy message was acknowledged by Pope John Paul II in a special papal blessing in 2001, the 70th anniversary of the revelation of the Divine Mercy message and devotion. 21st century With a Polish pope in the chair of St. Peter and the fall of the Berlin Wall, the circumstances were ripe for a resurgence of the medieval Marian cult in Poland. The fathers laid plans to erect an ambitious new shrine to Mary, to rival that of Czestochowa, in the village Lycan Steri, scene of a 19th-century Napoleonic soldier's devotion. The resulting basilica and visitor center, designed by Barbara Bielecka and blessed in 1994 by John Paul II, was completed in 2004 and is said to be the largest church building in Poland. The construction was said to have been funded entirely by pilgrims' donations. In 2009, the Marian Fathers controversially sold the grade I listed Folly Court, which had previously served as a school, museum, and focus for the Polish community in Britain. Statistics Topic 2006 to 350 priests 517 male religious 2007 to 345 priests 506 male religious 2008 to 348 priests 492 male religious 2010 to 345 priests 472 male religious 2011 to 350 priests 478 male religious 2012 to 349 priests 471 male religious topic affiliated bishops topic archmandrite fabian abrantovich mic Francis Brazies, MIC, priest, the 19th of December 1942 to the 22nd of December 1964. Francis Peter Busies, MIC, priest, the 25th of March 1899, Superior General, the 27th of July 1927 to the 21st of July 1933. Archmandrite Andrew Sicoto, MIC. Franciscus Karavichius, MIC, priest, the 17th of May 1886 to the 27th of February 1914. Andrei Katkov, MIC, priest, the 30th of July 1944 to the 14th of November 1958. Jan Pavel Langa, MIC, priest, the 28th of May 1980 to the 13th of April 1991. Blessed Jurgis Machilatus Matulovicius, MIC, priest, the 20th of November 1898, Superior General, the 14th of July 1911 to the 23rd of October 1918. Jan Olszanski, MIC, priest, the 15th of November 1942 to the 16th of January 1991. Liudas Povolonis, MIC. Seslau Sapovic, MIC, priest, the 16th of June 1940 to the 2nd of July 1960, Superior General, the 2nd of July 1963 to the 28th of July 1969. Vincentis Slatkovicius, MIC, priest, the 25th of March 1944 to the 14th of November 1957. Uzas Zamatis, MIC, priest, the 25th of September 1949. Topic. References
Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Andrew R. Mazinski, Mike and Masiej P. Taylor, Three Centuries with Mary Immaculate as Patroness. Marian Press. Tadeusz Rogaluski, Mike Stanislaus Papczynski, 1631-1701. Marian Press, ISBN 0-944203-62-0. Topic. External links. Topic. Marians of the Immaculate Conception. Official website. Marians Fathers in the United States. Thetivinemercy.org Divinemercyapostolate.co.uk Mariani.pl Stanislaw Papchinsky.pl Matulatus Matulvich.org